machine learning and probabilistic approaches to speech generation, so-called large language models, the current standards of the AI industry, are by now stuck in a dead end. At Priber.io, we hold that crude emulations of natural neural networks are bound to fail at simulating genuine human intelligence. This has led us to launch SAM, self-aware machines, based on a true understanding of the human psyche rather than programmers' folk psychology, as has been the case to date. The first stepping stone for building a genuine AI is presented here in a short video. To do so we developed a simulation city, SimCity, showing Sam's workings in a self-explanatory manner giving a glimpse of what the project's next stages should be. Now for the presentation. Early attempts at planes flapping their wings to fly never got off the ground. We at Priber.io went therefore for the basics. What makes a human being? Six urges have been implemented for a realistic simulation, drinking, urinating, eating, defecating, sleeping and mating. In our materialistic world, people do also work to collect the money required for satisfying all urges. Let's introduce Sam, the first bot realistically driven by urges. How does it operate? For each urge, a build-up intention takes place followed by a brutal gradient descent once it has been satisfied. The urge falls to zero before getting little by little restored. Here an example, hunger rises, Sam eats, there is satiety, the urge falls to zero before getting restored. On the bot's left-hand side can be seen a dashboard displaying the money it owns and the status of each of its urges. Let's follow Sam throughout the day and watch it going about its business, i.e. satisfying its urges. It so happens that the first urge Sam needs to satisfy is hunger. Sam is looking for a place for having a meal, which could be done either at home or at a restaurant. This restaurant looks inviting. Before entering the place, let's have a close look at the status of Sam's urges. Drinking and eating are currently requiring attention. Other urges are building up but remain within the comfort zone. 100 coins are in Sam's kitty. Whenever the amount drops below the floor set at 100 coins, Sam needs to go to the office to resupply its wallet. Sam is done with its meal, that is to say that its urge, i.e. hunger in this instance, has been satisfied. This can be seen on the dashboard. What else is there to notice? The drinking urge has been reset as Sam has taken advantage of having a meal to also drink, in the same way as most of us do. Sam's wallet has also been cut by the expense of food and drink. In a restaurant, the expense for a meal is 20 coins and that for a drink is 5. The kitty is by now below 100 coins, meaning that Sam needs to go work to make extra money. Working in the office, Sam makes 25 coins per hour. While there, Sam will also be able to drink and go to the toilet, managing the buildup in its other urges. Before it starts working, Sam's kitty amount is 75 coins. Sam worked for one hour. Sam has made 25 coins. Its kitty has been fed accordingly. Later that day Sam feels tired and goes home for a rest. At Sam's place all his urges can be satisfied. The all-inclusive rent amounts to 50 coins a day. No other housing expenses are taken into account. As Sam wakes up, all urges but mating are reset. There are 50 coins in Sam's wallet, 100 minus 50 for rent. In this current time lapse covering one day, we see Sam moving about, satisfying its urges, in the same way exactly as you and I do. Let's now accelerate the motion and include additional characters. Every one of them is driven by the same urges as Sam. As can be seen, 
every one of them goes about its own business, satisfying its personal urges whenever they rise. These aerial views show everyone pursuing the satisfaction of its urges. It has the appearance of any other buzzing crowded city. A sound population of SAMs will also feel like mating now and then. The mechanics are here exactly the same as with the other urges we have modeled, a tension builds up, to be followed by a brutal gradient descent. To satisfy its mating urge Sam needs to find a consenting partner being like it in its alert zone for mating. From time to time red hearts bubble up here and there, when two Sams mate. In the upcoming version, Sam will embody other typical traits defining humans. First of all, a representation of where it stands as far as its various urges are concerned, e.g., I am hungry, or I am not hungry, etc. Also, the ability of considering some other Sams as being personal friends, and for each of those, being able to hold in memory a representation of the fact that A is hungry and thirsty, that B is tired, etc. Sam will have the ability of expressing itself, being able to say, I am hungry, I am thirsty, and to answer questions relative to its present circumstances. For example, an open question to the group of friends as a whole, who is hungry? Whoever is hungry will reply, indeed, I'm hungry. In such a way that each instance of Sam will hold a representation of the current state of urges for each one of those he counts as being a friend. Thank you for having watched our presentation video. Please follow our further progress on our Twitter account or at priber.io.